What's up guys, Brandon here from Hemi Cruising, and today we're going to do a detailing video for you guys. I'm going to show you how to uh, clean the interior of your vehicle using some products there from a company out there called Adams Polishes. If you've never heard of them before, go check them out. Link to their website will be in the description below. Um, just want to put this out there first off, this is not a sponsored video. I bought these products with my own money because I want to try them out and see how they work. I've heard great things about Adams Polishes from other YouTubers such as RP Productions, um, SRT Mush. I I've just heard great things about Adams products and so I wanted to try them out on what I would consider a very dirty interior. I'm a neat freak. I'm OCD as all get out and this car, Black Exorcist, my 2013 Dodge Charger RT has had a rough life. My cousin had to use the car in the oil field because he didn't have a truck, so there's stains everywhere. And I'll give you a kind of a tour just a second and show you just how bad the damage is. But I'm gonna show you how to use six basic products that Adams has in their kit, which is right here. This is Adams uh, interior essentials kit. It's $70 on Amazon, but you can get it at, with a 15% discount. And um, it comes with Adams leather and interior cleaner. This is just kind of an all purpose cleaner for use on your leather and uh, things like plastics. Um, they gives you glass cleaner. Obviously, that's kind of self explanatory. Uh, you get some of Adams interior detailer, which is uh, kind of like a black magic. Um, product it leaves a little bit of a shine on plastic surfaces stuff like that and it's a cleaner it just kind of uh it, it's not a heavy cleaner it'll get the job done on light contaminants matter of fact it says here on the bottle um removes light dust fingerprints smudges and dirt uh you also get some adams leather conditioner now i'll talk about this more in a little bit but this is a very important product to have if you have a leather interior um Leather, as we all know, is a skin. It, it was the skin of an animal at some point, and so like human skin, it has to be nourished. And so what leather conditioner is, is it's basically like a lotion. It uh, revitalizes the leather, it uh, puts nutrients back into leather, and gets it feeling soft and supple um, like it was whenever it was first come off the factory line. And on a car like this that's been in the oil field and it has been subject to people getting in and out of it over and over again, with dirty clothes on, oily clothes. Um, this leather needs it bad. It's stiff, it's not soft anymore. And uh, so we're definitely gonna be using some of this and trying to soften this leather back up. And then uh, the last chemical that you get in this kit is carpet and upholstery cleaner. This is a heavy duty cleaner designed for use on carpet and uh, stuff like your headliner. And it's, it's designed to get tough stains out of uh, places there that dirt's likely to get ground into. So your carpet, your floor mat, stuff like that. And then they also include this nifty little cockpit brush, which it's a soft bristle brush uh, with a wooden uh, back grip, whatever you want to call it. And this is designed to agitate these chemicals and get dirt out of there. So... Once again, the opinions that I express in this are entirely my own. Adams is not paying me at all. I just wanted to try out their products and uh, give it a shot. So, oh, and one more thing, one other thing you're gonna need for this, you're gonna need um, some towels and uh, a vacuum cleaner, but my vacuum cleaner is over there. You, but you need a vacuum cleaner and you're gonna need some towels. But uh, without saying too much else, let's just go ahead and take a look at the damage that we're dealing with. All right, so just to kind of give you a little overview of what we're dealing with here, uh, we'll start off on the door panel. You can see, I don't know how well the camera's picking this up, but you can see um, definitely some heavy dirt deposits along the door panel. Uh, the bottom of the door panel, the speaker grills are subject to some head, there's some heavy dirt and stuff in there. Um, the main points that I'm focusing on are under the dash, the dash top, the seats, and the center console. The headliner in here is just littered with dirt, smudges from people wearing hats and stuff getting in and out of the car. Um, the back of the center console is in pretty bad shape. 
and the back seats are in pretty bad shape as well. Um, you can actually see there's like some sticky goop or whatever that whoever has been in here in the car. Um, the inside of the cup holders is all sticky and just just people didn't take care of their interior and you know I understand my cousin's predicament being in the oil field and stuff not really having time to deal with this but you know now that I own the car we're gonna make it right uh, also gonna talk about the trunk for a minute because as you can see there's some heavy stains and stuff in the trunk along the plastic pieces right in here and so we're gonna try to clean that up as well that's pretty much what we're working with here and we're going to go on ahead and get started, and I think the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get started with the floor mats. We're going to take all the floor mats out the car and vacuum them off, and I'm going to show you how to uh, get these clean. We're going to take care of these floor mats with carpet and upholstery cleaner. So let's go on ahead and see how that goes. All right, so we've got the floor mats out of the car, and what you want to do is you want to start off by just vacuuming them down real good. And uh, after you vacuum it down, you notice we have this rubber piece here in the middle. We're just going to take and spray some interior cleaner, carpet and upholstery cleaner on there. And uh, really we're just going to spray it all over this. And uh, just agitate it in. towels and just pop it down get all the contaminants out of the carpet as best you can and then set your mats aside to air dry now I have a clothesline over there so I'm gonna go hang these mats up on the clothesline one by one after I get through doing them I'm just gonna repeat this process for all of the floor mats in the car you go so your floor mats are now clean set them off to dry somewhere and we'll move on to the uh, to the interior of the car all right so we're gonna do the same thing here as we did on the uh, floor mats we're just gonna vacuum out the floor and then we're gonna take some of our carpet and upholstery cleaner and the cockpit brush and just start cleaning uh, the floorboards um, the floorboards aren't that bad in this car, surprisingly. Uh, I expected the floors to be way dirtier than everything else, but they're not. It seems like the seats and the door panels and the dash is uh, worse than the floor is, which kind of surprises me, but nonetheless... So now that the vacuuming's done, we're just going to go on ahead and uh, start cleaning the carpet in here. So we're just going to work in small sections at first. I'm just going to coat the carpet liberally with this stuff. And we're going to go from there. Hopefully I don't use a whole bottle of this on this car because if I do, I'm going to be extremely disappointed 
and Adams, and I don't want to be. So uh, that's how the carpet's going to get cleaned. And uh, I'm not going to show you the rest of it, but I'm just going to go all the way around the car doing that. And uh, then we're going to move on to the headliner because I'm going to try to do everything that needs to be done with one product first. And then we'll move on to the other products. So I'm going to go on ahead and uh, do the carpet around the rest of the car. And then we'll move on to the headliner trying to get the stains out of the headliner. All right. So it seems to me that the worst of the headliner damage is actually back here in the back. So... We're just going to do the same thing here as we did on the carpet. We're just going to uh, mist some spray onto the headliner in various places. And we're just going to scrub it down and uh, see what happens. And that's pretty much it. That's all you got to do. Just scrub down your headliner and uh, make sure you've got all the areas that need attention. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. There's a few spots in the front that I'm going to touch up real quick. And uh, then I'm just going to move on from there. Alright, so now that we've cleaned all the cloth surfaces, we're going to move on to the leather. So to start off with, the leather is a two-step process. We're going to use Adam's Leather and Interior Cleaner along with a cockpit brush and a rag. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to, if I could turn the nozzle on, we're just going to spray down the seats with the Leather and Interior Cleaner and Matter of fact, I'm going to go on ahead and move the seat up. That way we know we can get all of the dirt and the grime out of it. We're just going to spray everything down generously. We're not really worried about any electronics because from what I've heard, this stuff really doesn't worry about electronics all that much. Then we're just going to take the cockpit brush and we're just going to agitate that all into the seats. We're going to get it all worked in, and then we're going to come back with the rag and just wipe it down. Chilky beef. Step one of that is complete. We just wanted to, uh, while we're here dealing well, we'll come back to that whenever we clean the plastic parts. But um, we'll go on ahead and we'll uh, move the seat back. And we're just going to do that for every seat in the car. We're going to spray it down with the uh, cleaner. And you don't want to forget your headrest either. Just so y'all know. Don't forget your headrest. That's probably the nastiest part of the whole freaking thing. Is the headrest. Just uh... You just want to rub it all down and then turn around and wipe it off. Just get all of the dirt and the crud off of it as you can. There you go. Now that you've done that, we're just going to go all the way around the car 
and we're going to do that for every spot that we can or every seat and then we'll come back with a leather conditioner and uh we'll um condition the leather probably last after we do everything else we'll condition the leather that way we just know that everything's clean and ready to go so we're going to go ahead and do the rest of the car all right so one thing in addition that we're going to do along to cleaning the seats which we're done with is we're going to clean the steering wheel too because the steering wheel and the shift knob in this car are leather So now that we've done that, we're pretty much done with the leather uh, stuff in the car. So as I mentioned before, one of the big problems with this car is the door panels. So to try to get some of this out of the door panels, we're going to start off with um, the interior cleaner. And I'm just going to use a cockpit brush, scrub the door panels down, wipe them down, and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing on the plastic pieces on the bottom and then we're just going to go around and do all the door panels in the same way that we've done this and basically we're just going to use this stuff on all the plastic and then when we get done we'll come back and hit it with interior detailer. So now that we're all done cleaning the door panels and everything, um, I'm just going to take some interior detailer. This is like a protectant. And I'm going to take this microfiber mitt and we're just going to go over the dash and just basically spray everything down with this protectant and get it clean. And then we're going to do the glass and then we're going to condition the seats. Yeah, just move around the car and uh, spray everything down with detail, with detailer, and um, just make sure that everything gets wiped down with it. It's just a protected; it ain't gonna hurt anything. But uh, I'm gonna move to the other side of the car, and we're gonna do the same thing over there, and we're gonna wrap this up. All right. So at this point, we've dressed the interior, we've wiped everything down with detail spray, we've cleaned the carpet, and all that. And uh, to finish it up, I'm gonna use some uh, Adams Polishes glass cleaner and one of these windshield cleaning thingies and we're just going to clean all the windows down and uh, get the windows clean and then we're going to come back condition our leather put our floor mats back in and we'll be good to go and i'm going to do this on the outside too but that's how you put it on, so I'm not going to show you the rest of that. Alright, so at this point, um, we're pretty much done. Uh, we got one more thing to do, and that's we're going to put the Adams Leather Conditioner onto the leather to, neutral, uh, to clean it, nourish it, and uh, protect it. So we've cleaned the leather with the uh, Adams Interior Cleaner, and uh, we're going to put a, uh, the direction say to put a small amount of the product onto um, your applicator, and then to apply, uh, then apply to your leather. So we're just going to go on ahead here and put just a little bit of product onto uh, onto our rag. We're going to just fold that over on itself, and 
just going ahead and uh, work this in to the seat. going to head down and finish the car off and I'll come back when we're done and just uh, kind of go over what we did six hours later all right guys well that's it we've pretty much finished the car at this point in time uh, Adams if y'all are ever watching this uh, feel free to sponsor me because you have gained a customer I am in love with your products um, they're easy to use. They do exactly as they're advertised to do with no BS. That is the biggest problem I have with other detailing products from Meguiar's, Total Racks, all that. They say they're going to do one thing and they don't deliver. Um, Adams, you guys have definitely delivered. Every single one of your products in your interior box did exactly what it was supposed to do. No questions asked. And it took me a little bit of time. I've been working on this now for about three hours. But my car looks so much better now on the inside. Um, this is the interior detailer I'm holding, but they have a whole slew of products. I'll drop a link to their website down below in the description so you can go check it out. Um, but I I'm sold. It may be expensive as I'll get out, but I am sold on the benefits of using small batch products uh, on your car. It's just so much better. They they, there's just no crap you have to deal with. The products work as advertised. You follow the directions, you won't have any problems. My interior looks great. I have no complaints. But anyhow, this wasn't a sponsored video by Adams or anything. This is just something that I wanted to do. I wanted to review their stuff and see if it lived up to the hype that RP Productions and everybody um, makes it seem like. And I can attest it does. Um, works amazing. I'll definitely be using them in the future. I recommend them to anybody that has a car. If you care about your car at all, go spend the money and get you Adams Polishes stuff. It's great. I, ha I can't speak for their exterior products yet, but after using their interior products, I'm definitely going to be picking up some of their exterior stuff as well and uh, be giving it a try too. So, um, Adams Polishes. It's AdamsPolishes.com. Link will be in the description below. You can find their stuff on Amazon and every and uh, other retailers as well. Go pick you up some. Try it out. Uh, you're gonna be impressed with the results. Um, I'm happy. I am one happy customer. But uh, that's all the time I got right now. I gotta get uh, to work here in a little bit. So thank you all so much for watching. Drop a like. Click that subscribe button, and uh, you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. But in the time being, I'm Brandon, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.